Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be solving another variation of the longest increasing subsequence problem. Already I have done a video on that and also an application which is maximum increasing some subsequence. Increasing, sorry, maximum some increasing subsequence, okay? So please watch those two videos. And if you have watched those two, this video that I will be doing now, it will be very, very helpful and you will understand. Okay. So let us see the problem. We are given an array of integers. We have to find longest subsequence such that the difference between the adjacent elements is equal to one. So let us look at this example. Over here, the array is like this. And they say that the answer is three. That means it can be either this subsequence or this subsequence or this one. Notice that difference between these two elements and difference between these two elements, if you take absolute value, you will get one. So we should keep one thing in mind. It is not clearly mentioned here. Absolute value of adjacent elements should be equal to one. I mean, that's how I coded and solved it. Like if I submit and show you, <clears throat> I coded it like that and I'm getting the correct answer. So I would want to tell you that when you're solving this question, keep that thing in mind. Uh, it should be the absolute difference between adjacent elements. So, okay. Now, how do we solve the problem? Well, let us again, write down our array. Our array is a 10, 9, uh, 4, 5, 4, 8, 6. Okay. Four, five, four, eight, six. So this is our input array. And let us say we make an array called L, simply L, like the longest subsequence, it will be L, okay? So L of N. And initially what the values are stored? Initially we will store all the values as one. Why one? Because suppose I choose only one element from this array. Suppose I choose only six. Then also it is considered a valid subsequence. Although there is one element, it is still considered valid. And when there is one element, the length of this will be one. So we should assume that the minimum possible answer is equal to one. Minimum possible longest subsequence can be one only, not zero. So over here, we will assume that, okay. So all the values initially are one. This is the same. This step is same as LIS. This is the same step. Okay. Now, what will we do again? What do we have to compare now? See in the LIS problem, what were we saying? We were saying if array of I is greater than array of J. So we used to run a for, uh, nested for loop. So initial for loop is I from where to where? I from one to N minus one. Okay. And sorry, one to uh, N minus one only one to N minus one exact. And J from where to where zero to I minus one. So the nested for loop we used to run and we used to check this condition. This condition was checked because we wanted increasing subsequence. So we always knew that I, the index I will be greater than index J always. See, if you look at this index, I will always be greater than index J. So we always wanted to find out whether this condition is true or not. So if this condition was true, what were we checking? We were comparing LIS of I with LIS of J plus one. We are comparing these two values and maximum of these two would be stored in LIS of I. Ultimately, we would find how do we find out the answer? Maximum of all values in the LIS array. So now how will the problem or not problem, sorry, how will our code change? Approach will remain the same, right? But how will our code change? So to understand that we will see this. So I will just remove this much for now. Okay, so this condition in like little important, I'll, I want to relate to that problem. Like if you know one problem, you should also be able to know how to code other variations of it. So we will keep this, this problem LIS as our standard and we'll see how do we change. 
so okay so i starts from index number 1 and j starts from index number 0 so what is the condition going to be see if we want to compare i and jth element we know that a criteria should be that adjacent absolute value of adjacent difference should be 1 so how will this condition change it will simply change to abs of sorry so this condition over here it will change to what absolute of array of i minus array of j this should be equal to 1 we should check this so this condition is replaced with this condition so now let us see how it happens see what is array of i 9 array of j 10 absolute of 9 minus 10 is 1 so when absolute of 9 uh absolute of this value is equal to 1 then what do we do we will say l of i is maximum of l of i or l of j plus 1 so what is l of j 1 1 1 2 what is l of i 1 only so this value will change to 2 so the array will become like this so array will become like that next iteration what will happen next iteration see i is 4 for 4 again we start j from this element 10 from index 0 for 4 do we ever get this condition will this condition ever be true for 4 no absolute value will never be equal to 1 so leave it like that only let us go to next element 5 so i will be over here for 5 will it happen no Five also it won't happen. You can take ten, nine, four. Nothing will happen. Four, four over here only it didn't happen. Here also it won't happen. Now let us check eight. See for eight, ten won't do anything because eight minus ten. See absolute of a of i minus a of j is what? Ten eight minus ten, which is two. But look at nine. See eight minus nine is equal to one absolute. absolute is equal to 1 so now what is lis of i lis of i is equal to 1 but what is 1 plus lis of j it is 1 plus 2 3 so how will the array change this will change to 3 and actually if for this 5 we didn't check 4 only we checked only 10 and 9 so for 5 also it will change see for 5 also i did a mistake here i hope somebody would have corrected it before i made the mistake so i'll remove all this and write it down again so the condition is what condition should just be absolute of array of i minus array of j should be equal to 1 so over here it will change to this okay and next iteration i is at 4 nothing will happen next iteration i is at 5 for 5 5 minus 4 is 1 so this value will change to 2 so somebody would have already put in the comments you have done wrong you have made a mistake please correct at that i would like to tell you please watch the entire video sometimes i make mistake but i might correct it also okay so now 2 is over here now now next iteration i is at 4 For four, check all the values ten, nine, four, five. But five will work because four minus five absolute is one. So this value will change to what? All these will remain the same. This value will change to two plus one, three. Similarly, this value eight we already saw it will change to three. What about six? See, four, five is there. Be before six, four, five is there. Now four, five, six can form a subsequence. so it will check with 5 6 minus 5 is 1 and lis of i is 1 lis of j is 2 so 1 or 2 plus 1 3 so 3 then finally find out what is the maximum of all these elements so it will be 3 so answer is 3 so this is how you solve the problem only difference is this condition we have to this condition over here not this one but this is the parent kind of problem so let us quickly go through the code it is same only nothing so different 
so i've just made an array l of n and initially l of i every element is 1 it means minimum possible answer will be 1 then same thing the nested for loop i from 1 to n minus 1 j from 0 to i minus 1 now this condition is absolute of a of i minus a of j if it is equal to 1 then you check for this and finally find the maximum of all the elements in the l array the, the maximum of all will be our answer so this coding part you can do very easily if you know the basic logic and if you have already solved lis problem this is also easy only so i hope you are able to understand and i corrected myself so if you have put in the comments already it is wrong just check it once again i have corrected myself that's all for this video and please like it if you really liked it if it helped you share it with all your friends it might help them subscribe to the channel it will motivate me and take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye